Okay, I just got back from a little wheel around the block. It's quite nice out there. Uh, I enjoy my wheels around the block uh, because it's because I do. It's just because I do. Uh, other people, a lot of people around here that are out walking their dogs and so forth today. Great day for it. So, but that brings me to why I'm doing this. This is an issue I've raised before, and obviously people aren't paying much attention. I live in a in a high density area called the Beltline, which is pretty well almost right downtown in Calgary. Uh, so there's a lot of high rises, a lot of a lot of people, families and singles, and everyone else living down here. Uh, and of course, in any high density area, there's going to be dogs. So when I go wheeling, uh, I I generally watch the ground. I watch the ground for a number of reasons. Uh, if you ever hit a, a frost crack when you get frost heaves and sidewalks, if you hit one of those cracks going at a good speed in your wheelchair, it'll bring you to a, a pretty complete stop. And you'll, uh, law of physics says you're going to catapult out of that. And, and that has happened to me on occasion. So to avoid that now, I like I say, I'm, I'm watching the road a lot. Uh, more so than, than the average person is aware of because it's just second nature with me. But the other reason I watch it is because people do not clean up after their dogs when they take them for their walks. Now, don't get me wrong, I love dogs. I've had a dog most of my life. Unfortunately, the building I live in, we're not allowed to have dogs, otherwise I'd have one now. But you know, part of owning a dog is uh, the responsibility of taking care of it properly. And to me, taking care of it properly means cleaning up after it as well. This here, you see this, all right, these are gloves. And you know what I have these gloves for? Is this, this way I can go wheeling around the block and uh, unlike you, I don't have the ability to step over that pile of shit that may be sitting there. Or, for that matter, step over the uh, mud, whatever, you know, is on the road. I, uh, one of the realities of a wheelchair is you don't step over, you wheel through. Uh, so, if it's dog shit, you know, you should have cleaned that up after you. For, you, for what it would cost you for a roll of toilet paper, which would probably take care of cleaning up after that dog for a good couple of months, uh, I pay forty, fifty dollars for a good pair of gloves, and I've got eight of them right there. You can only wash them for so you know so often. So please clean up after your dog. Uh, sometimes I don't notice it even, especially in the fall when the leaves are on the road, until I go to scratch my nose or something. Holy crap! What is it? And there's there's the dog shit on my gloves. So I don't mind doing little things for people, but. There's a few things you need to be able to keep your eye on, and one of them is your dog. The, the least you can do is clean up after your dog, because there's people like me in chairs, there's people, seniors with walkers, that can't step over that dog shit. So please, clean up your friggin' dog's mess when you're finished, because I'm tired of covering it up for you. And I'm sure everybody else around here is too. Alright, thanks.